Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Sharice, and today we're talking about Forever Mood. Forever Mood as uh, a candle brand. I know she has the other stuff, but we're talking about candles today. Okay, all right. <laughs> so as of this moment, I own all of the candles. Some are minis, but I own all of the candles. And if she happens, she's been sneak peeking a new collection. So as of this moment, I own all the candles. It was very important for me to like have them all to do this review. Anyways, today I thought it would be fun to do like a ranking video, just ranking my favorite scents in the candles. Um, this is just my personal preference of the scents. This does not mean, you know, what you like is not great. This is just, you know, I'm just gonna, that'll be fun. A good way to talk about them all in a video. So first I'm just gonna overview the brand. I took some notes on some stuff I wanted to talk about before I get into the ranking part. You see, I wear my stuff from my hauls. I got this from my tour at a haul. It's actually, it's really comfy. So just some points um, for things I've seen like in the comments on Twitter and on Instagram and maybe some points you would wanna hear. I just wrote down some stuff. So the first thing is pricing. So as you may know, they're sold as individual candles. They're sold as the four box set and they're sold as the two box set and then she has the minis four box set so the let me just start with an individual candle is 35 dollars a four box set is 152 dollars the duo set is 74 dollars and the set of the minis is 48 dollars so i did i did the math and i realized that um the price per candle is actually more like in the four box set. So for example, an individual is 35, right? So four of them would be $140, but the four box set is $152. And I can't really say why that is, but I did notice that because usually if you buy more, it costs less, but I'm assuming it has something to do with the box it comes in. Uh, we'll show you that stuff in a minute, but it does come in like really nice packaging. So, and also I never bought an individual candle. So I've seen the pictures of the packaging, but I don't know like how it is. So I just know how the boxes are and they are nice boxes. So I don't know if that contributes to the price going up, but that was just something I noticed. And you may be thinking, all right, let's just stick with the individual price, $35. You may be thinking that's a lot for a candle. And um, it's not, it's certainly not cheap. I'm, I used to be basically a Bath and Body Works girl, got my candles on the sale for like, you know, $10, whatever they are when they're on sale and nothing wrong with that either. So let's talk about, oh, I actually read my notes, pricing, why? Okay, the boxes are really nice. Let me grab, yeah, let me just grab them all. All right, I'm just gonna go through the boxes on collection by collection. So these are from the core collection, uh, the first release that they had. And so I'll just point out, I guess, some details. So on the front, they have the logo. Over here, it says open to get lit. On this side, they have instructions for burning candles. On the back, they have all of the scents and their scent notes. And then the box has like a mag magnetic closure. On the inside, it says mood activated, signed by Jackie Ina. I didn't say the beginning, but Forever Mood is Jackie Ina's brand. Um, and so far I left the styrofoam in here. I don't know if that's gonna show. You can kind of see it right there. It's like little pockets for each candle and the styrofoam is removable. So just to talk about the, bo the first box and boxes in general, I think these are all like, they're actually really nice boxes. These are the type of boxes that um, I would reuse and I'm gonna save that, that for later, but they're nice boxes. Let me go through the, um, I got the four, the big four from Send Moods. So it says Send Moods Collection. Once again, open to get lit. Now I did notice that this one, um, instead of having the instructions, it says Send Moods Collection and also it has, um, oh, here we go. It has the instructions on the back and it has the names of the candles, but it doesn't have the scent notes of the candles. And I personally, I like having the scent notes on the candles on the back because it also, besides telling you what the notes are, it tells you what the throw is and we'll get to that. But the inside is very similar with the four pockets for the candles. 
Oh, and this one has a different saying, um, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, or in your bathroom, you decide. Smiley face, love Jackie Anna. So their last collection was Sense of the Season. I got the minis this time. That's how that looks. And once again, open to get lit. And it's back to like the original packaging where it has the instructions. And on the back, it tells you the uh, scent notes and their throw and stuff about them and their burn time and all that candle information. And on the inside, it's the same thing. You can say, yeah, you can see the black one better, but you know, just smaller. And you can, I don't think it's, yeah, with, with a little muscle, you can pull that styrofoam out if you want to. Oh, and on the inside it says, holiday season, um, just got lit. Check it out. And I wasn't even gonna tell y'all I did this, cause, <laughs> but it did. So I got the duo set from Set in the I got the duo set from Sense of the Season and she had a sale going on. If you're interested in the brand, you should get on the email list or the text list because she has been giving out a couple codes. Every, not too much, but you know, a couple. So this one was, it was already discounted a little bit and I want to say it might have been 20 more percent off. So the white, okay, the white shows up a little bit there. Slay Season, because I think, um, because the duo has, she has, there are two duos, this white one and a black one. So these are two of the scents and then the other one's the other two scents, right? So, and we have our instructions and candle notes. And this one says holiday season just got lit, okay. And then this is how they look in the box. Very, very, I need the strength of my wrists, okay. So that is basically all the boxes. They're nice reusable boxes. Um, and I guess I'll preface this with, it's a little late for a preface, huh? But I'm not trying to tell you what to buy or what you should think is worth it, but I'm just like thinking through, you know, what constitutes the price that they are and just kind of trying to give what, you know, just what I think and what I see, but definitely not trying to tell you that you should buy anything. So my next thing was the actual jar. Um, you'll see the candles later in the ranking part, but the, the jar is a nice solid jar. It has a nice lid, it's a suction lid. And the jar is, um, I don't know what material it is, but what I like about it is that the outside doesn't get hot. With a lot of candles, you can't, you shouldn't move burning candles anyway, but when they're burning, you can't touch the outside. These candles, you can touch the outside. They don't get hot, maybe a little warm, but they're not like hot. So I feel like that's quality. The lid just adds a nice extra touch. I don't feel like candles have to have lids, but it's nice, especially when you're trying to repurpose them for something else, it's nice that they have a lid. And as far as uh, repurposing, so the boxes, I, like I said, you can put stuff in them. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. If you have ideas, let me know down below. I think I wanna like, um, I'm definitely gonna put some on my dresser. My thing is, I'm very much like a out of sight, out of mind person. Like if I don't see it, I will forget that I own it. Not, no exaggeration. Um, so it needs to be something that like, I know I have and I'll know to go look for it, but maybe just put away nicely in the box. So I just gotta get some inspiration for that. You know what, I just had an idea. I have like these um, travel packing cubes and packing things that are just kind of all over the place. I think I'll put that in a box and that's my first idea. But if you have any, any more ideas, let me know below. And also the actual candle jars you can repurpose. You can Google some instructions for like how to get the last bit of wax out, but you can like put things in them and you know, whatever whatever floats your boat, honestly. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the Send Moods ones in my bathroom because they're brown and I have a little bit of brown in there. I wanna like maybe use one to hold Q-tips, one to hold um, cotton rounds, maybe one for my toothbrush, I'm not sure yet. Something like that, I see that. And I'm not sure about the other ones. Uh, I feel like the more colorful set from the core collection, that'll probably go in my living room because that's colorful. I just don't know what yet, you know. We'll see if you have any ideas, of course. Once again, comment below. All right, back to pricing. Um, another thing is, well, they're, so they're 100% coconut soy wax and they don't have parabens, um, not, not, whatever other things people care about. They don't have them in these candles. They're all, um, Pure coconut soy wax, which is expensive. The layers of scent. So a lot of times with candles, it'll just be vanilla or maybe vanilla mixed with sandalwood. 
Now to give you an example, on one of the candles I just had to purchase on the, in the bigger size, a Sujinja Red Trap House, the top marshmallow fluff, the heart, buttercream, cinnamon, and clove bark, the base, vanilla bean, amber, cashmere, and cedarwood. So it's a lot of it's a lot of mixing going on. It's a lot of chemistry. It's a lot of flavor, flavor, scent profiles going on. Like it's not just a simple scent. It's like a it's a really interesting mix. And I don't see this all the time, like this much going on when picking out scents. So I think that goes into it. I do remember Jackie said in one live that um she didn't want you to be able to just pick a scent out. It, it, she wanted it to just like smell good, but it did, she didn't want it to be like, oh yeah, vanilla, you know, something simple like that. So um, she does do a live every time they release a collection. So I usually, I'm usually not doing anything. So I'll watch it and she'll talk about um, inspiration behind the candles and the scents and things like, actually pretty, pretty informative. Burn time. Okay, so it says that the minis have 15 hours of burn time and the regular size candles have 65 hours of burn time. I honestly feel like they might even have more than that sometimes because I, I've only emptied two candles so far and I was like trying, I was trying and it wasn't going anywhere. So they have a really great burn time. I'll say that. And the last note I put was good throw. So throw is uh, like how far the scent travels across your room. And I do find with a lot of, uh, a lot of the small business kind of candles that I buy, the throw isn't that great. Um, and it'll be like, you can smell it when you're right near it, but is it gonna light up your room? A lot of these are gonna light up your room, okay? Almost, some of them is almost like on the edge of too much. Don't tone it down now, Jackie, I'm, I'm fine with that. But the throw is great to not be like a big commercial candle company. So, those are all the things that I thought of as far as like um, what goes into pricing these candles, right? So my approach from now on is I probably will just buy the minis and then whatever ones speak to me, I'll just get the individual of uh, that one. Unless I just really like the box color and I want the box to be quite honest, I'm, I'm that type of, I would do that. I would just get the full four candles for the box, but. And I will talk about, um, I had some issues with the Send Moods collection, which I think a lot of people did when they were launching that, when they were transferring warehouses. So that caused a bunch of delays. And um, mine was like, I'm pretty, if they went out in batches, I definitely got like the last batch. So there's that. I did get um, the winter minis like a week or two after I got Send Moods. So there's that. I did tweet about it and I wasn't like really complaining or anything, but I was just like, yeah, I wish I had my candles and Jackie responded and we chatted and she did like try to um, escalate with her team. So that was nice that she was like, she's pretty hands on and involved. So that was cool. So I think that's enough about the candles. I'm going to talk about what I think when I do the ranking, I'll talk about more of the individual candles. So now I just got to figure out where am I going to do it at? I need, like, I don't have a table. <laughs> I have this, uh, like, I want to line them all up and I don't even have a surface where I could do that. So, uh... Let me see. All right, I figured out a solution. We're in my kitchen. Now, if you see anything that you want to comment on, don't. <laughs> Unless it's funny. I mean, it could be funny, you know, funny comments are okay. But, uh, you know. This is, a, this is a quick decision. So anyways, I'm just gonna line them up here on my counter. I'm gonna go collection by collection. And I have my notes here on my iPad because, let me just move. Okay. Um, because my memory is awful and there's no way I was gonna remember. So I just wrote down like, I actually, okay, first of all, I did, I did my research for this one. Well, more like my testing, like I burned each one really thought about what I thought and wrote it down and took notes on every single candle. So that's for y'all. <laughs> let me just, uh, let's get started. All right, and also when I'm doing these, I'm not gonna be giving like the actual uh, notes from the company. I just wrote down what I thought. So the first one I picked up is, ooh, is this lighting not gonna work for me? Okay, I'm gonna do it really close, it's okay. Left on red and I said, it's a medium sweetness scent 
and I couldn't pick up one particular scent, but it was a vibe. And I said, it's giving vacation. So yeah, it's giving like peanut colada. It doesn't smell like pineapple, but it's giving like citrus, bright, very sweet, not super sweet, but very sweet. I like this. All right, I'm gonna have them. I'm also gonna just start ranking here. Hopefully it's enough wall. And I'm gonna leave them facing me just cause um, I'm gonna forget what they are if they're facing you. <laughs> here is Caked Up. So what I said about this one was, ooh, I burned quite a bit of this. I said it is like coconut cake, very sweet, but giving more like, I guess giving coconut candy. It's like, I like this one, but I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence about coconut. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. And I also don't like my candles um, super sweet. It's like, I like them sweet though, but just like the right amount. So for now, I'm just gonna angle this right around here. Oh, I'm out of frame over here. My iPad up here. All right. So the next one is Cuffing Season. This is the one when she was like kind of doing her uh, influencer rounds that people just seem to like the most. Now, clearly you can see, I did like this quite a bit. It's, um, I said it's like soft, sweet. Like, I feel like this is a good universal candle. I don't think anybody would dislike this. It may not be their favorite, but I think pretty much everybody would like this at least. Yeah, I think anybody would like this. I'm more drawn to left on red though. So I'm just gonna put it right underneath there for now. Now this one, sorry about, I don't really know what to do about this. Is this why they do the hand? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Uh, this one is Matcha Business. And this one was like, if I'm giving superlatives, this was like uh, the most surprising because honestly, if I was just buying them individually, I wouldn't have picked this one up. But this is definitely one of my favorites of the whole line. Clearly I burned it down a little further than you're supposed to. <laughs> I said it's giving latte and it's giving sweet, but it's not giving like cake sweet. I don't, I like my house to smell. Damn, there's a big bird on my ledge. Uh, it's a pigeon. I usually get the little baby birds, but not a full on pigeon. It's like, all right, um, I'm in the suburbs, ma'am. Anyways, I really like sweet scents, but I don't want it to smell like there's an actual dessert baking. I don't really know how to describe it better than that. Like I want it to smell sweet, but not like a straight up cake is in here. And this is, this gives me what I need. It also has a strong throw. We're just gonna put you straight up to the top for now. Now it's the Sin Moods collection. This one is called Skinny Dipped. Um, I said it was like a vanilla nutty scent. Yeah, this is, this is not my favorite. That's what I put, not my fave. And it is definitely, you can still you can still see it right there. This one is Grown Folks Business. Okay, okay, it's bringing me back. Because what I wrote was no distinct scent, slightly sweet. And I put it's warm and comforting. It's giving actually more like a masculine scent. This is, I like this. This is like a, so it's not sweet at all, but it's like warm. Like it feels like, comforting words i already said the, these words earlier but it's like when you just kind of like wrap up in a blanket type of scent yeah this is like this is another one where it's like I, if i just smelled it i wouldn't be sure but after burning it i was like okay hmm it's gonna go above caked up or do it okay grown folks business or cuffing season i'm not sure I'm, um, I reserve the right to change the ranks at the very end. Um, Eugene, I'm the rank queen. Kidding. <laughs> this one is Hey Big Head. Um, you mentioned the brown ones, the Sin Moods collection are all the same color. So I'm just, I'm just gonna show them to you anyway, but. Okay, I'm gonna read my notes actually here because it's funny. <laughs> I wrote warm, chocolate, grown, coffee top three okay so it's definitely giving like i'm at a i'm at the cafe but once again it's like uh 
I was trying I was trying to compare this one to matcha business because they both give like latte coffee vibes. This one is definitely a stronger like actual coffee scent, like a espresso or coffee bean, you know. But it's like it has a nice sweetness. I can smell the maybe vanilla or whatever that is in there, but it's not like a lot. It's definitely coffee is like the top note for sure. Since I said top three, I'll put it right here. I gotta think about these two. We not Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so I said this was like, um, do you ever go to Trader Joe's like in the Christmas season and they give you like the little cinnamon blooms? It's giving that, but it's not giving Christmas. It's like, it's giving very strong cinnamon, but it's not, it's not bringing me to holiday season. It's something else, there's another note in there. I don't know what it is, but it's, um, I don't know. It's not my favorite though, I can say that. I think I'll put it right here. Right, and that's the whole Send Moods collection. Let me get the sense of the season. Sorry about if, I don't know if the uh, camera picks up the hammering, but that is also why I'm moving. <laughs> In their live, they were talking about how they wanted, I guess the bigger candles to still give more of a luxe experience than the minis. Like they wanted it to be a clear difference and especially, um, I guess for the price point and all that. So there's that. And these don't come with lids either. So just FYI. So this first one is Gingerbread Trap House. Oh, I also wrote down that, um, did I mention, was this video? I think I talked about it in another video. I have a harder time smelling things. Like I won't say I have a weak sense of smell, but it's not great. So these uh, minis, when I first lit them, I would have a hard time smelling them. I actually got a lot of the scent when I blew the candle out, whatever that, that air, I, I could really smell it then. So that's just something else I noted, but let's get into gingerbread trap house. Okay, so what I wrote was um, before I figured out the whole scent thing, I said that while it was burning, I was getting the marshmallow buttercream vanilla. But once I blew it out, I got the amber cashmere kind of scent. Um, and I said that if you like vanilla, sweet, that type of vibe, you're really gonna like this. Um, that's the vibe for this one. I don't know. I wish I could tie some. Well, I guess in my ranking, I can do what I want, but I'm not. I'm going to put it right here. So this one is Naughty Nice. And what I said was that um, I couldn't like pick out a scent. Like I couldn't tell you what this smells like, but I would say it smells masculine, but good. You like that maybe unisex, but leaning towards masculine. And... I said that this is the type of scent I would wear as like a perfume rather than a candle. Yeah, I feel like this would really smell good on me. I'm gonna put it right here. This is You Up. It smells like, please, please, sir. It smells like a butter, like a butterscotch. I did um, write that I wanted the bigger candle of this, so that's why I got the duo that I showed y'all earlier. The duo has You Up and Gingerbread Trap House. I'm gonna put it here, I think. And the last one we have is Fine Pine. Now, this is one of the ones that like, I probably wouldn't have bought if I didn't buy the set, but I like it now that I have it. It was definitely giving like Christmas tree, but not, you know, too much Christmas tree, but nice. And I wrote that I thought it was interesting that it just like, I felt like it fit in the room. Even though I could smell the tree, it didn't feel like a, a shocking scent. Like it felt like, okay, that's part of the room. That's what the room smells like now, you know? I don't think, I'm undecided because I would say I don't feel like I would burn this outside of the Christmas season. Um, so that's the only reason I would rank it low, but I do think it smells good. So we're going to put this. All right, let me turn them all around. I'm going to go from bottom up. All right, from least favorite to most favorites, unless I change my mind. At the bottom, we have skinny dipped. Sorry, it's slightly out of frame, but, um, can't make the camera wider. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Skinny dipped is at the bottom. 
Then we have Cake Up, Fine Pine, Naughty Nice, We Not Lincoln, You Up, Cuffing Season, Grown Folks Business, Gingerbread Trap House, Hey Big Head. <laughs> Left on red. And numero uno. Matcha business. Matcha business. All right, guys, that's my ranking. Um, this was fun to do. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And who knows? Maybe the way I gave scent notes told you something. I don't know if I did a great job, but hope it uh, was helpful. And maybe you'll do your own rank video. Well, I don't know who else is crazy enough to have all these candles. Cause let me tell you something. Mm, this is barely, this might be, this might be a quarter of my current collection. I'm trying to do better at um, burning one candle at a time, trying to burn it all the way down. But sometimes I just think of one and I'm like, that's the one I need. So with that being said, once again, um, just a reminder, let me know down below. If you have any good ideas for repurposing the boxes or the candles, uh, to sum it up, uh, clearly I like the brand, I like the scent profiles, I like what goes into it, and I will probably, as long as I'm able, I will at least be buying the minis to give things a try. I definitely need to repurchase Matcha Business, and I'm about to go burn one of these right now, period. All right. So if you like this, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out, and... This just made me think I should have been, could I have made a TikTok out of this? That's my life now. Like, could this be a TikTok? Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.